My dear big brother Tandi Magdenomshe, greetings to you and your dear wife Tops from Asanda and me. Thank you for the honor of the invitation to share these few lines on this special occasion of your ordination as pastor. Moments like this are occasions for reflection. So thank you for allowing me to share my own reflections on our journey together. I could say so much about you, Butandi, but I only have a few minutes to do so. First and foremost, I want to give the Lord all the praise and gratitude for making our paths connect when they did back in 1984. When I gave my life to the Lord at university in March of 1984, you became one of my first and foremost disciples. I am so grateful to the Lord for your generation of student disciples. You had profound impact on my Christian life and journey. I learned so many things from you, Buddha, but I will only reflect on a few. Firstly, your deep commitment to sound biblical doctrine still shines brightly before me to this day. And that is something I deeply cherish. Secondly, you taught me that it is impossible to claim to love and be a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ and not be concerned about introducing people to him and about responding to issues of social injustice. As a student leader and activist yourself, you became a personal role model in the formative years of my Christian walk. For that, I'm eternally grateful. Thirdly, I learned from you that student ministry is a lifelong calling. And you have modeled this throughout your life, through your continuing service in the Students Christian Organization and at the International Fellowship of Evangelical Students, IFES, where you served for many years as chair of the regional support group. I'm a product of your service and example in student ministry. Fourthly, you distinguished yourself as a man with an excellent spirit in public service. Your impact on my life in this area is yet to be told, and I shall tell it at a more opportune time. Last but not least, I admire your example in family life. I have watched you over the years journey with my dear sister and your beautiful wife, Tops, and your children. It's been a blessing like no other to watch you guys walk in family life. I thank Tops for journeying alongside you in the manner that she has. Now, because you have been faithful in all these areas, it has pleased the Lord to entrust you with this new kingdom role as pastor and leader of your local assembly. I know without doubt that by his grace, you will discharge this calling with great care, a humble heart, and with distinction. So allow me to conclude these short reflections with the words of Psalm 78, verse 72. And it reads as follows. With upright heart, he shepherded them and guided them with skillful hands. I know this will be true of you as you take on this calling. God bless you, our very dear friends. Hassan and I love you and will continue to pray for you. May the Lord always keep you. Thank you so much.